review the context of the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Reconstruction and Jim Crow is crucial to understand. At the end of the Civil War, Confederates gained control of Southern legislatures and instituted the Black Codes, forcing African Americans to accept poor work conditions, limiting their movement within communities, and denying them basic rights. However, Reconstruction, the period of rebuilding following the Civil War, began in 1868, and black men gained full citizenship and equal protection with the passing of the 14th Amendment. But many Southern whites believed equality was a corruption of their race. When Reconstruction was halted in 1877, Jim Crow laws were created. Named after a derogatory term for African Americans, these laws were fueled by Southern white fears that blacks were taking away employment opportunities. In 1890, the Louisiana General Assembly passed a law preventing blacks and whites from sharing the space on a train, overturning fundamental aspects of the Civil Rights Act. The doctrine of separate but equal became law in 1896, with the passing of Plessy v. Ferguson, in which the Supreme Court ruled against a challenge to the 1890 decision. Subsequently, Southern state legislatures passed laws requiring the separation of whites from people of color. African Americans' opportunities for education and employment were severely limited. Protesting or complaining about these conditions often led to violence and threats. The Ku Klux Klan, first formed in the 1860s, became the arm of racist violence, and the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or NAACP, reports that from 1889 to 1918, more than 2,500 African Americans were kidnapped, tortured, and murdered by mobs. One aspect of the adventures of Huckleberry Finn that stands out is the frequent use of the N-word, which was an accepted part of the vernacular at the time being depicted. The word was not initially used as a racial slur, but had already acquired its offensive connotation of racial inferiority by Mark Twain's day. The frequent usage of the term throughout the book has led some contemporary audiences to see the work as racist and insist on banning it. Parallels between fact and fiction are important to the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. The overlaps between author Mark Twain's life and the novel are many. Locations throughout the South are renamed and repurposed for the novel, and Huckleberry Finn is modeled in part after a childhood friend of Twain, who the author described as impoverished, ignorant, and unwashed, but with as good a heart as any boy could have. The parallels between Huck's and Twain's views on slavery are even more striking. Twain had been brought up to believe that slavery was an institution approved by God, but the Civil War and his father-in-law, an abolitionist and one who served as a conductor on the Underground Railroad, dramatically changed Twain's views, which clearly informed the novel. 